Hey, Cedar High School teachers. I thought I'd just make this video. Um, I was just doing it for my classes, and I'm like, if for a new Canvas user, this would be something that's very beneficial to me and lots of other teachers. So um, if you don't know what modules are, I, I love modules. It's just, it kind of groups uh, assignments together. So you can just add a new module up here. You can name it whatever you want, chapter, chapter five, and put all chapter five assignments together. Just a really easy way for you and your students to uh, stay organized. Um, once you have a module set up, then you can just click uh, on, it, on this add button, then you can add quizzes, pages, files, discussions, whatever, whatever you're wanting to add to that group section, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you just click on whatever it is you want to do, you can add it, and then just always goes to the bottom, then you just remove, I'm going to remove it because I don't want that one in there. Um, you have to have this green check mark uh, checks, so it's published so the students can view it. You can, you can edit it a little bit right here with a few different things. Um, but the thing I want to show um, is up here at the top, if you click on the plus button up here, oops, sorry, not that one, this one, and then hit edit, you can then do, um, you, can, you can set what's called a prerequisite. So if you add prerequisite, it's like, so I have this module right before it, Google Basics fourth term. So if I set that as the prerequisite, Google Basics fourth term, they won't be able to get to this set of modules until they finish all of these assignments. It really helps students move through, not get lost. Like where am I supposed to work on? Um, it, it, it requires them to first get these done before they can go to here. And the other thing I really like to do is add requirements. Students must complete all of these requirements. And then I click this box right here. Students must move through requirements in sequential order. Again, that just helps students know, okay, what well, am I supposed to work on next? It makes them go in order without them going all over the place. Um, so then, so this is my first assignment, intro to Google Slides. And I just change this to, they have to submit the assignment. In order, before they can go on to the next one, they have to submit it. Then I can add another requirement, which just be the next assignment. Google Slides assignments, and then you can you can choose whatever one works for your teaching. Um, mark is done. Um, you uh, or you can if it's a quiz, you can make it. They have to get eighty percent or eight out of ten before they can move on. So if they need to re retake it a few times, I you know I normally just do submit assignment. So then you go one more, and then sheets to assignment. Okay, now what I wanna show you real quick is just what it looks like in student student view. If you don't know what student view is, this is also something I really like to do. Click right, go to the home tab, student view, and then, um, then you go in and see what it looks like to your students. Modules. So this is the one I just set up. I can't get to it because my student account hasn't gone that far, but this is exactly what it would look like. So I've turned in this assignment so they get a nice little green check mark, which is nice for the student and the teacher. Then I haven't done this assignment yet, so I'll just go and turn something in for this. So now if I go back to modules, it then opens up that next assignment for me. So it's really nice to help, help keep the students in order, let them know what to work on next. They don't skip down and do other things down here, but hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or if you need any help.